We look at Korea's main industries and foreign investor success stories to present Korea's outstanding investment environment. Explore potential opportunities to grow with Korea. Hello, I'm Shin Ayoung. Wind is a clean source of renewable energy that does not produce carbon emissions. Growing rapidly in Korea is the offshore wind power industry due to its advantages over land-based wind power farms and high energy efficiency. The International Energy Agency released the Net Zero by 2050 report in May this year. According to the report, in order to reach net zero, the wind and solar power capacity must quadruple from 2020 to 2030. Korea, surrounded by the sea on three sides, has the potential to become an offshore wind energy powerhouse. The Tamla Offshore Wind Farm, the first commercial wind farm in Korea, generated 86,000 megawatts of energy in just a year, amounting to $22.7 million in profits. It's leading the way towards a net zero system. In accordance with the 2050 net zero scenario, Korea is aiming to cut down carbon emissions by 40% by 2030 compared to 2018. It plans to reduce its high dependency on fossil fuels and accelerate the transition to renewable energy sources, achieving a low carbon economy. Korea's offshore wind farm projects are well underway, with local governments and private companies having received the local residents' approval for the offshore wind farm projects in Shinan, Cholanamdo, the western part of Cholabukdo, and the eastern side of Ulsan. Moreover, by providing technological R&D support, the government is developing large-scale wind turbines appropriate for the local environment, transport and installation technologies for floating systems, and dynamic cables. In 2017, the Korean government announced the Renewable Energy 3020 Implementing Plan. It's actively seeking out suitable sites and supporting the development of offshore wind farms. As part of the Green New Deal, Korea is providing support to meet the wind power capacity of 12 gigawatts by 2030 and to raise the competitiveness of the Korean wind power industry. The government plans to implement a one-stop shop policy to accelerate the process of obtaining permits for wind farms. Aren't you excited to see the future of Korea's offshore wind power industry that's growing fast with the current net zero movement? Korea will open new doors and opportunities for foreign invested companies. The Korean offshore wind power industry is preparing for a new era with global renewable energy companies. Today, we'll meet one of them, Ocean Winds Korea, and listen to their successful investment story. With global renewable energy developers investing in Korea, the future looks bright for the domestic solar energy and offshore wind energy industries. Today, we'll meet a global renewable energy company, Ocean Winds Korea, and listen to their successful investment story here in Korea. Hello, sir. Hello. Nice to meet you. Ocean Winds is working on a worldwide four gigawatt scale project and is also trying to expand uh, the business influence here in, in Korea, so locally, right? Yes. So I guess my question is, like, why did you come to Korea? Why did you decide to expand and enter the Korean market? Let me first correct just mm -hmm. one little figure. Mm -hmm. um, for Ocean Winds globally, we are developing, uh, as far as I know, 6.6 .6 gigawatts. So not four. Okay. So, it's so more the projects. number just went up. Okay. Right. We have the UK. We have um, France, uh, the Iberia Peninsula, mm -hmm. including Portugal, uh, Poland, and the US and Korea. And Korea. At the beginning, Ocean Winds is really centered in the Western 
right. word. So right? Europe and the Americas, right? Exactly. And um, at the time, a uh, lot of discussions uh, back in, in 2018, a uh, lot of discussions about uh, getting into Asia, because Asia, due to the population, has a very large demand mm -hmm. uh, on, on, on energy, right? Um, and where in Asia? Asia is very big. Where would you go? So we started looking into what we call the fundamentals mm -hmm. of each of the countries. Economy, sociology, geography, geopolitics, right? Mm -hmm. And then it comes, that, it comes out that Korea was on the top. Mm -hmm. You talked about the fundamentals a lot, about having the demand for renewable energy and the strong support of the government. So I'm going to ask you a question on that because not only is the economy stable yes, <laughs> and the political true. situation uh, stable, the government is really pushing for the renewable energy sector. It's actually part of the Korean New Deal policy, which I'm sure you're yes. well aware of, right? So have these uh, government policies affected your business? Really, at, uh, at an investor point, is to give confidence to the investor. Mm. Oh, for example, we were doing Ulsan uh, at that time, but Ulsan lacked a bit of consensus. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the, the, the Korea Green New Deal actually gave a lot of confidence toward Ulsan. Okay, mm -hmm. six gigawatt of project in Ulsan. This is part of the policy. Korea needs it, and this is going to happen, mm -hmm. right? And then we started as an investor to look into, okay, if the policy names directly the area, we need to support that policy. Mm -hmm. Uh, to understand how much we're going to contribute to the economy, mm -hmm. how much we, we're going to contribute to the society. So we're doing a uh, socio-economic impact um, study with uh, the University, uh, uh, so Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology, mm -hmm. UNIST, um, and, and, and some other uh, uh, local partners. Um, and for example, we know already that our project is going to reduce 48,000 tons of uh, micro dust particles wow. into the air. Just, just that project. Wow. So it means that you have five other projects. So you talked a lot about Korea, doing business here in Korea and living in Korea. So based on your successful business model here in Korea, what advice would you give to potential uh, foreign investors looking to come looking to coming to Korea? Well, number one, uh, before coming, study, study your market. Mm, that's important, the fundamentals. The fundamentals. Number two, look into, um, with these, those fundamentals, look into potential partners mm -hmm. to develop your business because Korea is, um, is very network oriented mm. and as being a foreign investor, when you come in, you don't have a suitable network to develop that business and then get in touch with Kotra if you have mm -hmm. that in your country. That's great advice. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That was Mr. Jean-Philippe Baudrier-Brunet, Head of Development of Ocean Winds Korea. FDI Focus Korea will be back with more information for foreigners who are hoping to invest in Korea. We wish you all the success here in Korea and until next time, goodbye and good luck.